Hello friends, this is Manoj Goel, one of the co-founder of the Wall Street School. This video is in continuation of our content-based videos on Excel for Finance that we have been sharing with our audience. In this video, we are going to cover how to prepare debt repayment schedule in Excel format. We'll prepare this template from scratch. So let you watch it, learn it and do it and comprehend it forever so that you are not at the mercy of banks or financial institutions to let you know your loan outstanding amount and number of installments outstanding and let them not take you for a ride. So if you like content of this video, do share with your friends and colleagues so that more people can know how to crack this code. So let's get started. Hello friends, in this video, we're going to learn how to calculate EMIs in Excel. So that in case you are running your own housing loans or personal loans, you can do your own calculations and not be the, at the mercy of the banks or the financial institutions. So let's start. So how it works is you watch the video, do it, pause it, watch it again. And in case you like it, do share with your friends and your colleagues so that more people get, get informed from it. So let's start. The same Excel, it's, it's a blank Excel, so you may open a blank Excel onto your own laptops as well. So let's start the EMIs. Let's learn how to calculate the EMIs. So I rename the sheet as EMI calculation. Now what's an EMI? EMI is your equated monthly installment. Suppose I've taken a loan of 5 lakh rupees from the bank at 12% rate of interest and for a period of 5 years. So every month, I'm supposed to make certain installments, which if paid every month for a period of five years, would have repaid the principal and the interest. That amount is your EMI, your equated monthly installment. So let's learn this in Excel. So let's take the situation. Suppose my loan amount is five lakhs. Suppose, my rate of interest is say 12% by duration say it is 5 years so 5 years comes out to be 60 months so what's my EMI my EMI for calculation of EMI I use a formula called PMT I use a formula called PMT it calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and constant interest rate so i do a pmt here so pmt rate of interest is 12 percent and my emi is monthly so i said 12 divided by 12 n per is my number of periods so i take it as 60 pv is my loan amount with a negative sign that's my present value so i take it with a negative sign here i said minus of this minus of my loan amount fv is my future value by default i take it as zero because i do not know the future value and type it says zero or one if you are repaying your emi at the end of the month i make it as zero if i'm repaying it at the beginning of the month I make it as one so let's assume that i'm repaying it at the end of the month so i make it as zero over here so i get an emi of 11122 rupees similarly in case i was repaying it at the beginning of the of the month it would have been i use pmt i repeat the process rate is 12 percent divided by 12 n per is my number of periods which is 60 in this case pv is my loan amount with a negative sign, my present value. If I, if, if I do not do the negative sign, if I just do the positive number, I just take this number over here, 5 lakhs. And FV is my future value by default, I take it as 0. And type, suppose I'm repaying it at the beginning of the period. So if I make it as 1 here, here we go. I get my answer in negative sign. Because I can go from 0 to 5 lakhs. Or I can go from 5 lakhs to 0, then the entire principal would have been repaid along with the interest. So that's the reason I was putting a minus sign over here before the PV. 
now you see the different amount here. If you are reaping it at the beginning of the month, the amount is lesser. If you are reaping it at the end of the month, the amount is higher. Here we go, like this. So that's how you have calculated the EMI. Now, what I'll do is, let's try to make the entire table in a, you know, in a series over here so that we understand the entire calculations. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll make the entire table. Let's have the duration. Let's have my EMI. Let's have the interest component and the principal component because this EMI would have certain element of principal and a certain element of interest. So let's have my interest component. Then your principal component and then your principal outstanding. Here we go. Your duration, your EMI, your interest component, your principal component, and your principal outstanding. Now let's format this, uh, this these headings here. We have learned these in the previous videos. In case you do not remember, uh, just my suggestion: first of all, go through those videos where you have learned all these shortcuts, and then come back to this video. The link of those videos are there in the description box below. So what I do is I said Alt W V G. I remove the grid lines. Alt H W. I get the wrap text. Alt H A C. I centrally align it. Alt H A M. It's middle aligned. Alt H H. I change the color over here. I change the color. Now let's make this entire table here. So I have the duration. I have duration from 1 to 60. So I write 1 here in this cell. And in the next cell, I said that the next number is the previous number plus the next year number, or rather the next month number. So I copy this part here, shift and down, shift and down. And I have the numbers till the 60th month. I have the numbers till the 60th month here. Now my EMI remains the same. My equated monthly installment remains the same. So I link it with my EMI and I fix it. And I do an enter here. And I copy this. I copy this. Go on the left hand side. Control down arrow, right hand side, control shift up, control V. I repeat the process here. I copy this part here. Consciously, I'm not using the mouse. I've not used the mouse ever since I started building this table. I copy this part here, left arrow key, control and down arrow key, right arrow. Control shift up, control V. Here you go, like this. Now, I've got the duration, I've got the EMI. Let's give this some borders. Alt H B and then A. Alt H B A. Alt H B A over here. Now this is done, this is done. What I want is, I want I want you to pause this video. And if, in case you've done it so far, what I want from you is pause this video and populate these three columns for me. Populate these three columns for me in such a way that in the 60th month, in the 60th month, your principal outstanding is zero. In the 60th month, your principal outstanding is zero. Pause the video, try doing it on your own and in case not, then proceed ahead in this video. Okay, so how I would do it, I'm assuming you have you have tried it at your end and not been able to do it and then that's the reason you're watching it. So let's do the interest component, principal component and the principal outstanding. So what I do is, first thing, uh, I will uh, just sort of freeze the pain here. I'll, I'll freeze the pain because if at all I'm going down, 
I'm, I'm, this headings are, you know, getting uh, lost. And I, I want to see the headings here. And how do I do it? You know, remember the shortcuts. So I said Alt W F plus F. So you freeze the pins. Freeze the pins. You put your cursor over here. Put your cursor here because this is where you you want it to be frozen. And then you do Alt W F F. You freeze the pins. Now let me do it. Let me do it for you. I hope you appreciate that this eleven thousand rupees has some element of principle and some element of interest and you repaint it at the you know at every period of time so when you have your interest component here so what's your interest component in this amount your loan amount is 5 lakhs into your rate of interest is 12 percent fix it and divide this by 12 because uh, you're finding out on a monthly basis your EMI is equated monthly installment that's why this is 5000 here then what's your principal component out of 11,000 rupees 11,122 rupees you made an amount of 5000 as principal so what's your balance amount balance is the principal component that you have paid so 11,122 minus your 5000 rupees here this gives you your principal component and what's your principal outstanding in this case out of 5 lakh rupees, you have already repaid 6,122 rupees as principal. So what's your principal outstanding? This amount will be this 5 lakh rupees minus 6,122 rupees here. So your principal outstanding is 493, 877.78. And now you're going to pay the interest not on 5 lakh rupees, but on 4 lakh 93,000 rupees. So next month, your interest component will be 4,93,000 into 12% because that's your rate of interest divided by 12. Here you go. You have your interest component of 4,938. And what's your principal component? Out of 11,122 rupees, your interest component is 4,928. What's your principal component? It's nothing but your EMI amount minus your interest component. Here you go. If your principal component which you have repaid is 6183 out of your principal outstanding, now what's your outstanding principal? It's nothing but 493,000 minus 6183. So every time you see your principal component is, uh, you know, it's increasing and this principal outstanding is reducing over here. And now since you've made this table here, you copy this part, copy this part, control C, left arrow key, control down, shift and right arrow, control shift up, control V. You populate this entire thing because you have put the formulas in the second cell and you're just replicating the same formulas in the third and the fourth cells and corresponding detail the 60th cell and you see in the 60th month your principal outstanding is zero. Here you go. That's the power of Excel. Just put the formula in the second cell. When you've frozen this rate of interest, the principal component is coming as your EMI amount minus your interest component. And then you get your principal outstanding here. Okay, so that's how you populate this entire EMI table. Hope you have been able to solve it. Now, as a practice for you, what I want is we have calculated this EMI when it is at the end of the month. So let's also calculate it at the beginning of the month. The formula was PMT, your rate divided by 12, N per is your duration, PV is your loan amount with a negative sign, comma FV is your future value and time is 1. You are reaping it at the beginning of the month. The amount comes out to be 11,012 uh, 11, rupees. So what I want is, I want you to make a similar table. When you are repaying it at the beginning of the month and see that, that at the end of the 60th month, your principal outstanding is zero. Try that at your end and uh, you know, because there is some trick here, some, some concept that you need to understand to put it because when it is at the beginning of the month, in the initial phase, your interest will not be there in the very first month. So keep that in mind and try to solve it. In case you have liked this video, do share with your friends and your colleagues. And in case you want us to make more similar videos, 
please put that in the comment section below in the sort of videos and the topics that you want us to cover. Thanks for watching.